In today's video, we're gonna show you the most charming city in the middle of Crete, as well as a 16th century monastery. I like that we left to be kind and keep our love intact. Take a ride, turn on back so we can save on gas. Never thought I would find someone to love like that. Like that, like that. On the first day, we had a simple plan visit the monastery of Arcady and Rithymio. But on the way there, check out the Lake Kornos. So, on the way to Rethymio, there is actually a very nice lake called Lake Korma. And actually it's a very nice spot for like a small stop to enjoy the lake. And what is cool here, you can spot here turtles and also you can rent here for an hour for 10 euros paddle boat. From Lake Kornos it was now time to get to one of the main points of the day, the monastery of Arcady, which takes us on a road trip through a gorge. Welcome to the monastery of Arcady, one of the must see here in Crete. And right here behind us is the 16th century church. And the first thing we did was go into the 16th century church. Here you will feel as if you were truly in 16th century. Definitely feels much slower than our normal modern world and lives are. So this is bullet tree from during the invasion of the monastery. And you can see here the piece of the bullet. In this monastery there is actually more to see than just the church itself. There is also a museum where you can learn about the history of this monastery, its people and its life. and the history of never giving up. Kitten. So the whole place with this monastery is very beautiful, it's very photogenic. If you're wondering if it's worth to be here, to come here, it's totally worth it. And for those who ever played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, this is a throwback to the game. The whole vibe of this place is like coming back to those days in the game. The monastery played an active role in the Cretan resistance of Ottoman rule during the Cretan revolt of 1866. Over 900 Greeks, mostly women and children, found refuge in the monastery. After three days of battle, the Christians blew up barrels of gunpowder. They chose to sacrifice themselves rather than surrender. into Greek culture, especially the religious aspect, but it is not overwhelming, so you can get a grasp of what the religious side of Greek looks like, or looked like, uh, but it's not overwhelming. And the ticket price to the Arcadi Monastery is 3 euro. So Sebastian just made a new friend. This guy. Oh my god, oh my god, we just saw just three goats casually passing the road. And right there, another one. A family. 
Yeah, I'm very happy family. From the monastery, we headed back down towards the sea to Rethymio. So right now we are in Rethymio and we just got here and our mind has been blown away how beautiful it is. It's amazing. And it is looking so good here. Like the palm trees, the grass, like everything is so well done. And we just got here. We cannot wait to see a little bit more of the city. It's beautiful and it feels so nice and so natural. So nice. As we took walk along the beach, the whole coast is amazing. The area is so mesmerizing, I would say, and also during the sunset and golden hour, perfect. We are really, really liking it here. And also the view, like the beach, palms, the whole city and the mountains in the background. The whole scenery looks amazing, just perfect. And the first impression of the city is 11 out of 10. Yeah, it's perfect. Rathimio is definitely a very beautiful city. Even if you're not based here, you definitely should visit this Greek town. You can get lost in many of its charming narrow alleyways with local shops and restaurants. And speaking of food, we had to try some local cuisine. So here in Rathimio, we wanted to try some local food and we got two things to split. So the first thing is spaghetti, which is like the chef's special here. And this one is right here. It is with meat and, you know, it looks beautiful. And this costs about 9 euro. And then the second thing is we got like a mix of Greek food and like a specialty of this restaurant that we're gonna talk about in a second. And it's right here. And this dish actually costs us 14 euro. We have fries, we have some kind of meat, we have some kind of rice, I guess, or some kind of stuffing like like here we have a tomato with it we have musaki so it's like all those different kind of things that you would eat here like a local greek cuisine okay and that's it enjoy so this spaghetti um chef spaghetti is amazing so the first thing we're gonna try from the mix is the musaki which is like the typical greek food so let's try it it looks very good let's try it it's amazing. It's really good. It's really good. So this thing here, it is meat and beans. And it tastes like eating a taco or burrito together. And just like that, our first full day on Crete has come to an end. A beautiful way to start the adventure with both the historical as well as the modern side of the island. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps us grow this channel. We hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and we'll see you next time. I like that we laugh till we cry to keep our love intact. Take the ride, turn on back so we can say.